Get it inside to Washington. Maybe a little tentative because of the last block shot. Is that a thing as a player? It's definitely a thing. You know, you think twice after getting your shot blocked. Swartz feeling it right now. Nothing but net. Nunu Bradford missed the last couple games. Clemson has her back today. But the Tigers are without Gabby Elliott, without Eno Inyang, and without Kiana Gaines. They do have Hannah Hank. Open look from the corner goes, and Nunu Bradford. Eagles have missed their last four shots. Swartz, the only Eagle who's scored, and she's got all nine. Nearly 15 a game in BC's last eight. Entry feed, bobbled, juggled, Sane gets it out of the rim and scores. She talks about her hands and how she catches the ball and her skill set. Acting with a hedge. Veronica takes it all the way and scores off the glass. It's a lot of changing and moving pieces for any team. Then you throw in the COVID and injury factor. Hard to get anything going chemistry-wise. Knockdown triple from Michaela Dickens. Yeah, the second lead three-point shooter on this team. There's a smooth stroke from Marnell Gerard. Austin College in a plethora of ways, leading this team in assists and in steals, but can also hit the shot, as we just saw. Tough shot, high off the glass by Washington. Tigers should see it again. Dickens off one foot, banks it in. A lot of dribbling here from Nunu Bradford. Gets it over to Maddie Ott. Nice pass inside, and Sane throws it in. Really looks good for Clemson. Washington creating a fast break after the rebound, and Clemson ties it up. Robinson didn't miss that layup. Got to make sure she lets it happen for her teammates. Keeps her eyes open up the floor. No look pass. Second assist for Delisha Washington, the Florida transfer who's been with Amanda Butler for a long time. Oh. Cameron Swartz she feeling it. And, and how they played a factor in this season for every single team. And that goes for, you know, players who normally play and players who don't. There's more opportunities, more minutes. A lot of contact there. One to two years in this COVID situation where you've got players who normally wouldn't play, who've been thrust into that situation, who've gotten better because of the reps and the playing time. Here's Dickens coming the other way. Washington faced the double team down there. Cameron Swartz is on a whole new level. So a little bit of a miscommunication there for Clemson. Dickens, tough shot, missed it. Van Timmeren keeps the possession alive and puts it in. Good playing time and rolling in Boston College early last season. Did some really good things. Largest lead for BC. Sliced into by the fadeaway from Robinson. Washington doesn't take a lot of threes, so gets inside, gets her own rebound, and throws it in. Talking about Michaela Dickens crossing over 1,000. Delisha Washington last Sunday crossed over 1,500 in her career, and BC running its offense well right now. Today's the 138th game of Kiara Lewis's career. Michaela Dickens from deep. Under two minutes in the half. Lewis running out of multiple defenders. Sets up Bradford from deep. Dickens hugs that basketball tightly. Ahead, bats. Nice catch by <laughs> Gakdang. They're on track for around 80 points, but Clemson hanging around, and Hank hits the elbow J to get it back to a six-point game. Been fun to see Hannah Hanks' confidence grow since her freshman year, too, especially as a shooter. Cameron Swartz, <laughs> speaking of shooters. The Tigers this season are 5-1 and one when they turn it over 16 times or fewer. They're 1-7 in seven when they turn it over 17 or more times. It's a seven-point game, though. Really good at that, but we've got to finish those second-chance opportunities. Out of control there. Ott at the other end, cuts it to five. Imagine without the turnovers and without the missed second chance opportunities, this game, Clemson would probably have the lead. Oh, Swartz! 
Taylor Soul doing a very good job of moving her feet and drawing that charge. Tricky shot goes off the glass for Taylor Soul. Of this Boston College team just sees that she has the mismatch wow. on the post player. Hannah Hanks and takes it right at her to the middle of her chest. That's 91 of their 95 <laughs> from beyond the arc, the paint, or the free throw line. That's nuts. They were 50% from the three-point line as Clemson. Some production from some key Boston College players, that gang being one of them. They set up a play for Swartz and the foul. Crazy. Crazy. And quick 5-0 run from Cam to stretch the lead back to 10. Amari Robinson answered. He's not one of those players that is an I, I, I player. She's about the we and the us. And Coach Burnaby McAdoo. All of a sudden now, Amari Robinson has 14 points. And the Tigers are back within six. Swartz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Career high 31 for Cameron Swartz. When do you think Cameron realized today it was going to be special? Was it in warm-ups, captaining for two more, and the lead back to 10? Couple shots get to go, and for Cameron Swartz, that happened to her today early on. She was hot. First nine points. Beautiful pass to Aaron Robinson finishes the feed from Bradford. I think Swartz is a little winded because Maddie Ott thought she was going to be there to catch that pass. for three. And Elmore is in to relieve Hank, who got in the foul trouble a few minutes ago. So coming in and making a splash, literally, for Clemson. Gacting nice. answers. That easy two underneath, but Gacting just came out of nowhere and swatted it out. And might get the final shot of the quarter anyway. Taylor Soul all alone lays it in. Just how BC drew it up. Here's Swartz. He's had the hot hand all day. Excellent defense by Washington. Swartz gets a rounder <laughs> and scores anyway. Dickens ahead. Soul sees multiple defenders. Fortuitously finds Swartz. 35 for Cameron Swartz. Need that extra pass, but that chain of events just worked out so well for Boston College that I'm just going to go ahead and say I was wrong before you say it. And Robinson with an accidental banker. I mean, she did, it's got to be an assist for somebody, right? Come on, that should have been an assist. Gacton, two more. She's getting to her spot. That was thrown at her by Clemson after halftime, getting herself back in this one. Works. Sneaks in. Loose ball. Here comes Clemson. Robinson, yes! Robinson, a good job right there. Taylor Soul may only have 11 points, but she's played so hard, and Dickens now into double figures with 10. When she shot that shot, hard one to make when you're kind of gliding through the air like that. And the three ball just hasn't been there. Latrice Sane lays it in on the offensive glass. To where they almost need to get a score on this possession to keep this one in their, their sights. BC comes up with a steal. Got to get everything as right as possible to make sure that the match is called as fair as possible. Are you kidding? Robinson was running for the offensive rebound. Don't forget Duke Syracuse coming up in just about one minute. Washington gets it to go. That's a, a strong game, 11 points, six rebounds. And she brings an energy that's unquantifiable in terms of her contribution. Yep. Clemson needs three threes. Elmore. Gacting pulls down the miss. And she'll shoot free throws at the other end. It was three for three from the line on Thursday. Does not get the roll there. Her skill set already making the impact that she's making in her first season. I mean, it's scary what she's going to look like by her senior year. It's a 10 point game. Washington trying to get to the cup and does. 
28.8 seconds left. Clemson yelling out, don't foul. And Swerp turns it over. Clemson cuts into a six-point game with 19 seconds left. Crossing midcourt to Swartz. Swartz going to take it, make it. The Eagles are going to improve to 27-2 when scoring 80 under Joanna Burnaby McNamee. Delisha Washington slip in to that double-digit figure range with 12 points. Too little too late, though, for the Tigers. Boston College with their second straight win.